Can I explain uh, what happened in a golf match to me last week quickly? Sure. Sure. So my brother and I, I know I mentioned, and we, we lost in the semifinals, but <laughs> I had to explain how we lost. We're on the 18th hole of this match. Now, um, I'm playing with my brother who's getting a stroke off me. I'm playing against my buddy Danny, who's a firefighter. He's a Boston firefighter, and so is his partner, Peter Ely. Danny's saved like 53 cats in his career as a Boston firefighter. He leads the league in saving cats. So he brings this stick, Peter Ely. We have a great match. We're on 18. We're tied. And Sean's stroking. So is Danny. Sean, my brother, pounds driver down the middle, and he then hits a six iron to like 12 to 15 feet, I'll call it. Just a perfect shot. He's now putting for 3-2. Danny hits this shitbag drive to the out to the left. Awful swing, but it stays, you know, just in the trees. He then takes his three wood and rips it up, tries to get it up top the hill. He's probably like 245 out. It rolls to the bottom of the hill. So he's now got about like an 80 yard shot up the hill to the elevated green. He's hitting his third shot. Sean's just waiting to fucking putt in his birdie in three for two. Danny then chunks this chip to the top of the green. He fucking barely gets it up there, and it sits down and rolls just to the front of the green, about 50 feet away from the pin. And what does he proceed to do? (laughs) Walk around the putt for 10 fucking minutes and then stand behind him and buries the thing. Four for three. We were already, in our minds, had won the match, which is exactly what happens in match play. Whenever you think you win a hole... The fucking miraculously, the only thing that could happen against you happens. So he sinks this monster pot. It was an unreal. There was a bunch of people there watching. They're like, I'm like, are you kidding me, Danny? Four for three. Well, Sean still has a putt to win. And, you know, he just misses it. He made a good roll, but he taps it in. Four for three. So we got to go down the playoff. Next hole, what do we go down? What goes down and happen? We go down. I hit a bunch of shitty shots. I end up having like a five-foot putt for par to continue the match. I miss it. We lose. It's over. Oh. So in a fucking... You're trying to go to the semifinals to get to the finals to... You know, you win it, you're going to win some good money. You're going to win the, the, the member guest. And then all of a sudden, a guy hits a 50-footer on you to force a playoff, and then you lose 10 minutes later in that playoff hole. It was the most disgusting loss I've ever had. Shout out to Danny. What a putt, you sicko. And shout out to his partner, Peter Ely. This kid was pounding the ball. So it was just an upsetting. And then the other thing, the other thing, so then uh, – USGA four ball that I qualified for with the one arm bandit last year. I talked about it on the pod and I was so excited. Well, then it got canceled because of Corona. And then they, they decided to not allow the people who, you know, got into the tournament to play in the next year's tournament. I, I went on a podcast rant about that, I believe as well. So what happens? We come up to Monday, Monday of this week, we have the qualifier again. It's now we, all right, buddy, we got fucked last time. Let's go and do it again. Let's go get it done again. Karma's on our side. So we get there, Indian Pond, this place in Kingston, Massachusetts. Let me guess. Like, nice what? track. It's a, let me guess. It's a nice track. Yeah, it's, it's a nice track. It's a nice track. <laughs> uh, it's, it's the, yeah, I mean, the greens are usually really fast. They weren't like super fast this day. But nonetheless, we're like, let's go do this. We go out, and we're hitting it really nice. This first hole, we both hit it 15 feet par. So you, we're thinking we're going to shoot like seven under. Second hole, oh, fuck, my buddy's kind of in trouble. I hit driver five wood. The hole's like 550. I hit driver five wood to about 10 feet short of the green. And then easy, easy little chip up the hill, tap in birdie. Let's get us on the board. Well, I fucking chunk this chip. About, you know, leave it like 10 feet short. I miss the putt. God damn it, we should be two on we should be one under through two right now. We could even be two. Like that's 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 on me, bud, I said to my partner. I gotta get that up and down. Fuck. So we go to the next hole. My buddy misses a kind of a six foot slider. We're still even. We go to the fourth hole and I stuff one to an inch, a legit inch, whatever. We're on the board now, one under. We think we need six more of these things. We get to the fifth, uh the fourth hole, or whatever, the fifth hole, par three down the hill, make an easy par. We get to this short, short par four sixth hole. I hit my five wood up 
40 yards short of the green. I hit it on. I knock in the birdie. There we go. Now we're two under, okay? We need five more. Think guarantees it. Well, now what has started happening in this round of golf to get into a United States Golf Association event? The wind is fucking howling. 25 mile an hour, steady howling, affecting every single shot. When it's in your face, you're clubbing up by three. When it's downwind, you don't know what club to hit. I was like, this place is playing hard as shit. And all of our, my, me and my one-armed bandit partner and our, and our group, we, we all agreed. I'm like, I think the number might be like five. I think five might get in this year. And there's also alternate spots that we wanted to get. We wanted to get. So whatever, we fucking go out there and it's playing very hard. And on, we par, par seven, eight, nine. Uh, my buddy made a cup sick par on nine. I three putted. He was in trouble. He gets up and down from a shoebox, and we don't lose a shot. So we make the turn in two under. We go down ten. Both of us hit it to five feet. We both knock in the birdies. Didn't even matter. One of one of us just needs it for the card. We both did. So now we're three under through ten. Here's what fucking happens at ten. Tenth hole. I'm getting off the tee, and this USGA rules official says, "Hey." We got a big problem. Just like this. I'm like, what? Like, I'm like, <laughs> my mind is racing. I'm like, what the fuck could have happened? <laughs> like, for this dude to be that adamant and this engaged in, like, telling me we got the a The one-armed big bandit problem. crushed his old lady or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I was like, dude, like, did you catch your wife, like, roasting your buddy last night in your own garage? Like, what the fuck is wrong? What's the problem? You're five minutes behind pace. It'll be a problem if we have to talk to you again. So oh. I'm like, oh my god! I so would listen have paid to this. So listen money to, this, to be though. there. So listen to this. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So me and the one armed bandit have our caddy, Mikey Powers. This kid's the man. He's the he's, he's just doing a hell of a job. He's carrying both our bags. I'm like, dude, give us clubs. My partner starts running. We all start running because if you get a fucking penalty, if you get a shot, a slow play penalty, you get knocked a stroke off. They'll fucking hit you for a stroke in your round. So we are we go up to the eleventh tee, which is probably one of the hardest holes in the course, but it's downwind. So we all hit fucking real quick. I hit driver, pounded it, and we just all run. We're sprinting. Four guys, two of them are carrying their own bags. Me and the one armed bandit, and the caddy's already up to where we were gonna hit in the middle of the fairway. Dude, I'm I'm literally breathing heavy. Like, let's just catch up to the group in front of us and end this quick. I hit, I, Jeremio hits from 140, he hits it to like 15 feet right of it. I'm, I'm 81 yards in. I fucking mashed this drive. It must have rolled out 100 yards, and I flip a 60 degree wedge up to five feet. I run up the hill. I mark it. I'm like, fuck it, right. <laughs> I go over. I get my putter. Um, Jeremio like, tries to like calm down a little bit, hits his putt, literally just misses tapping par. I'm like, dude, I got a five foot uphill putt done. I'm like, all right. I know we're in a rush, but you got to just calm down and make this putt. <sighs> Miss it. I'm like, no. mother fucker. But Doremio, my the one-armed bandit, he's like, dude, lots of holes left. We're feeling it now. We're feeling it now. We only need fucking four, four more birdies, even three or two with this weather. So we go up to the next hole. I fucking hit it out of play like an asshole into the woods. I have to chip out. I have a putt for four, and Doremio has to have a putt for, putt for four because he missed the green short. He was in the fairway. Well, I miss my seven footer for par, and then I'm like, oh my God, Drew's got seven feet. Fuck. He cans it. So we nice. stay at three under. We stay at three under. It's unreal. Next hole, par three. We, we both hit it. Drew hits it in the rough, but he got it up and down, and I have fucking 12 feet staring right up at the flag. Hits the lip and just, just does one of those dirty ass mother frigger lip outs. Oh, come Disgusting. On. But whatever, we got a birdie hole coming up next. Come on, let's keep doing this. It's a par four. It's three, like it's 280 yards, but you can cut the corner if you hit this big slice and like slice it onto the green. So I just hit a five iron out to 100 yards out. Doremio does it. Our caddy's out there celebrating because he fucking <laughs> drove the green on the par four. I hit my 60 degree to like 15 feet. It was a shitty shot. And this kid now has the two putt, but he's, they, the pin was on the bottom shelf of the green. He's on the top shelf. So he hits this putt that rolls down the hill and it rolls to like nine feet. 
Should have been a birdie. Should have been an eagle putt from if the pin's up top. Well, I missed a 15-footer, and then this kid fucking misses the 7-footer on a great putt. So not only do we not birdie, birdie the par 3 that I fuck... The, not only do I not birdie 11 when I'm running around like a lunatic, <laughs> sprinting and can't breathe. Then we don't birdie 13 because I missed the uphill putt on the lip out. And then 14, my buddy drives the green, and we don't birdie that one either. So it's like, are you fucking kidding me? So then we get to the next hole. It's like a down dog leg left. We both hit it with 120 out, and we both hit it just right of the pin, 15 feet. Like, one guy's one foot in front of the other. It was perfect. We're going to get a read. We both missed. I'm like, are you kidding me? You're still stuck at three under with all that's going on? And then the, fi- the, fifth, uh, the 16th hole is the same exact thing. We both hit it on the green. Neither one of us made the putt. We're like, all right, well, we got, a bur- we got an 18th hole par five, but it's dead into the 30-mile-an-hour wind, and a 215-yard par three is the 17th hole, and we need to at least make two, five under, like at least, right? 17, we both missed the green right in the rough. I'm like, oh, man, what a bummer. I get up to this ball. I swear to fucking God, I had a premonition. I was like, I'm making this shot. I'm, I'm literally chipping this in. I'm going to do this. And Drew says, do you want to go first? Do you want to go first? I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm going to knock it in. Dude, I fucking knocked it in. Get the I fuck sh- out of here. I hit a high pitch shot and it landed on the green and it started rolling towards the green. And the kid on the, the, on the other team trying to qualify goes, go in the fucking hole like that. And it goes, <laughs> dink. I go, Yes. There's one. There's one. We're at four. Get us to five. We're in this fucking tournament. Let's go. High five, my buddy. I go to the I go, uh, insane insanity. I just I'm going. I said I was gonna do that. I was so mentally fired up and like what the brain can do. It was fucking insane. It was like the best moment of my summer. You'll you'll laugh when you hear the rest of this. So I get to 18. 18 is like 570 dead into the wind. Oh, I, my It goodness. was like two, two, 220 yards to the fairway. I, I, I hit this thing as pure as I could, dead straight, dead nuts. And I had like 320 in. It, it, was, it, was, it was an absolute honking wind right in your <laughs> face. But I got it in the fairway to a point where I had to lay up with four iron. And then I had to hit another five iron because I hit a bad four iron. So either way, Doramio is in the trees. We need to birdie this hole. He's in the trees. I'm in the middle of the fairway. He hits this ridiculous punch hybrid through the trees like 200 yards. He, 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 he hit it about 180 yards and still had 220 to the hole. But it was unreal shot just to even get out of the, get out of the shit and get back in the mix. So then I hit my layup shot. Awful four iron. I'm trying to hit this thing like 200 yards. I hit this awful four iron and it goes like up into the hill into the rough. I'm like, are you got to be kidding me? So one arm bandit, he's in the rough, takes out his three wood. It's 220. I'm like, this is playing 245 and ropes this three wood to (laughs) six feet. No way. He's got six feet for the birdie to get to fucking minus five. I go over to my ball in the rough. It's on the upslope. I'm like, I think I have to hit a six iron because I was like a buck 70 into the wind still. And I'm like, dude, actually, it's on a slope like this. So the six iron will turn into a seven iron. I need to hit a five iron because it's because it, it's going to go right up in the air. So I do. I hit this thing. The wind takes it. It's drawing towards the hole. It hits the green and bounces and releases towards the pin. I'm running to the fairway as Doramio is going, go in the hole, go in the hole for Eagle to get to seven under. Or no, for Eagle to get to six under. Go in the hall. Doramio's screaming and I can't even see as I'm running around the hill. The fucking ball rolls down and lips out of the cup. Lips out of the cup. Because it was going too fast off the hill. And settles seven feet beneath the hole. So I was like, oh my God, we're high five. And it didn't go in. But holy shit, we got two birdie looks. We both looked like we were dead on 18. We can get this thing to five under right now. We get a chance. We both missed the fucking oh pots, God. dude. No. Now, 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 here's what you're going to laugh. So at the time, I'm like, dude, well, that, that's it. I go, five was a chance, at least as an alternate. And with us getting in last year, if we're alternates this year, we'll get in. They were taking two spots, and they were taking two alternates. So we're waiting around all day because at the, we came in, the clubhouse lead was five under. We were in second place. 
Now, there were some really elite teams of some big-time amateur players who live around here that were going out in the afternoon, but the wind was still heavy. I said, who knows? So we waited around all afternoon, and some of these teams made the turn, and at the turn, all of these teams are like, well, we're, we're minus, we're two under, we're two under, we're two under. One was three under, and we're like, hey, these guys could go out and not light up the back and like four, we could be standing in a playoff at four for an alternate spot or to get, I got one. Thing. I got, I got one, one question here. Yeah. Is the wind still honking? Here's the thing, Biz. Just as I was about to bring it up right as these elite, the elite groups, cause they pack all the really good teams together in, in like three or four different um, times, you know, tea times <laughs> for the afternoon wave. Right as they went out for the nine, the second nine, because they, they teed off and it was honking, and I'm like, this is good. And then they came in with scores that were just like ours, and I said, this is good. And then the fan turned off. It didn't turn off completely, but it turned off into like a chilly fall day where there's a little wind, but nothing like the 25-mile-an-hour gusts we were dealing with. So we waited around. An eight under came in, a seven under came in, and then there was two six unders, and then a five under, and then the four under. So we didn't even sniff getting the spot like we did last year. We didn't even sniff being an alternate and then possibly getting in. And then we sat around that thing all afternoon, hitting balls, thinking we'd have a shot, and drove home with nothing oh. but failure. And the fact that we were fucking high five and going nuts after I chipped in to get into, get into four red on 17. And we're screaming at each other about the ball <laughs> getting in the hole on 18. If you ever see what ended up happening, we would have looked like the biggest fools of all time. But it's still, it's trying to get a USG. Championship. That's my goal. It happened and I got screwed with uh, the tourney getting canceled. Next year, we'll give it a go. But it was an exciting round. Well, I got two things um, that... Club championship was a nice appetizer to the real golf story. And uh, fuck that Marshall. It, here is the thing about the Marshall. And what happened last time, boys, with, with the story when I got in? Remember the Marshall came up on 17, said, what's your score, guys? I said, whoa, whoa, that's not a something <laughs> a Marshall ass. We're trying to fucking get something done right now. Get out of my headspace, buddy. <laughs> Well, this time, this marshal says we're late. We're sprinting around, and I'm sp I sprinted a 400-yard hole because of no reason. Oh, I forgot a part about the, the, the marshal. I sprinted a 400-yard hole for no reason, then missed the most makeable putt of the day to get us to four under through 11. And it was all because I was out of shape and out of breath. So we go up 12, and you have to walk uphill, and then you hit downhill. And I hit it right near the cart path. And there's another marshal there. And I'm like, Peter, this guy's the man, this older gentleman, Peter from Mass Golf. I'm like, Peter, are we on the clock? Are we going to get put on the clock? He's like, what? He looks at the sheet. He's like, Pfft. you're not even, you're not, you, you're playing too fast. You're fine right now. It's like, what oh, the fuck? My I go, God. the guy up there is telling me we got a big problem. Like his wife left him with the dog. And you're telling me that there's no issue at all. So. It was a wild day, and, and to get in the house at 68 and sit around and think you have a chance only to see the medalist be eight under, double your score, it, it's, it's a little humbling. I tell you what, man, that might have been one of the best golf stories I've ever heard from you. And I'm sorry you didn't get in, but it was very entertaining. I think our fans are really going to enjoy it.